November 1996, I got the opportunity to do just that. Hi, I'm Zach Nelson. For the next half hour, you'll be able to, you'll go with me to the Grand Canyon and see where I went and well, the Socorro National Monument and see where I went. With me today in the studio is Adam, a well-known expert on Socorro cactuses. We'll, in a moment, we'll talk with him. But first, let me show you the route I took to go to Arizona. It was a bright and sunny day when we left Fort Collins, Colorado. We took the hazardous route known as I-25 and came down all the way to um, Las Vegas right here. We set camp at the Days Inn. After that, I went to eat. We ate at a fine food restaurant, but it wasn't no good, I didn't think. And so, next day, well, I took a swim that night to refresh myself. The next day, we went from all the way to here to Santa Fe, then over to Albuquerque, which is right here, and then all the way over here to Flagstaff, and took a side trip up to the Grand Canyon, which you can see on another cactus video. <clears throat> Be sure to get a copy of the Grand Canyon video from your local cactus video distributor. Here are a few scenes from the video. These cactus videos are a must for every family. They're clean, wholesome, family entertainment without violence or foul language. You can let your children watch them over and over again. Other videos include The Devil's Escapement 1 and 2, Making a Trailer, Labor Day 93 and 96, and um, many others. Remember, when you're thinking videos, think cactus videos. Well, the next day, we were, um, well, two days from then, we went, um, we came down here to Phoenix, and we stayed there for Thanksgiving. We got robbed in a parking lot there. It was a lot of fun, which I'll tell you about later on. And so after that, we went down here to Tucson, and then over about five miles to Sequoia National Monument. In Tucson, Arizona. With me now is Adam. Welcome to the program, Adam. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Zach. I always wanted to be on a cactus video program since they're one of the best videos you can buy. They have such fine quality and content. I feel honored to be on one of these videos. Well, we feel honored to have you here with us also. You're just the kind of people we need for cactus um, programs, Cactus Videos programs. As you know, Cactus Videos are family entertainment at its finest. Oh yes, absolutely. Everyone should have all the Cactus Videos. I have all of them. Every time I go to the Cactus Video distributor, the store, I always check to see if there's any new ones coming out. Every week I about, I always get a new one. Um. Um, you have studied the Sahara cactuses for a long, long time now. What is unusual about them? That fact is that they only grow in Arizona and Mexico, since oh. they're about the same, just dry and barren. Yeah. Um, in the old days, weren't there Indians and kind of bad people, or was that just in the movies where, like, the cowboys yeah. would go out there and pop them with their pistols? No, there were Indians out there. Did the cowboys go out there and shoot them with their pistols? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't Good know what you do. Got me. <laughs> um, how tall do they get? No one really knows. Some can get up to 70 feet tall. And a lot of them, well not a lot, well some of them are though. I heard that the arms fall off at night. My teacher told me that last year. And because she used to live in Baja, California. <laughs> no way that is not true. <laughs> that is just an old wife story that mothers used to tell their kids when... When they would, 
keep at night to keep him home. Yeah. Well, don't the arms fall off Mexican Saharas? That's what my teacher said. We have no reports of that. Like, and a man named Smith, I just remembered about him. Um, diluted that in his memoirs. In his memoirs in 1692. Yeah, I heard about his um, trip down there. Um, did he have a lot of camping stuff, or do you know? No, it was just him and his horse and his rifle and yeah. some food. And his group. He had a group, I think. That's what I heard. I don't know. But Jones and Campbell wrote in 1728 that they saw no signs of that either. And Antonio Gonzalo in 1793 declared that there was no sign of that either. Who's, I have a, uh... Who was Antonio Gonzalo? It was a guy that... A certain out there. president? Yeah. Or something like I that? I have part of his... Journal here, let me read it. Is it real, authentic, or is it just copy? It's just parts? a copy of it. Twelfth oh. November, seventeen ninety three. Having been commissioned by the Honorable President of the United States to explore the region to the West, I continued on my journey. Who was the president then? Uh was it George Washington? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um and I an ominous cloud followed me from the east, so so I traveled as fast as I could in the westerly direction. Today I determined to continue late into the night, but I was shaken no little bit when I saw a dark, a dark some, in the dark some strange sentinels reaching into the heavens. What's a sentinel? It's like a guard. Oh, well, okay, that carries around his musket or something, mm -hmm. pops people. Yeah. Cool. I, I dared not continue any further to the west. But because a storm followed me from the east, I could not retreat in that direction. A further alarm to me was a venomous snake that abounded in the region. I dreaded lie upon the ground, but my horse would not carry many of me any farther. I also learned that in Arizona they have these little dinky tiny spiders, and they're red, and they're only right there out in the desert where Arizona is. <laughs> but they, um, if they bite you, you can die really quick. And they're in Mexico also. Yeah, and the snakes that there were, they were the rattlers. <laughs> I dreaded lie upon the ground, but my horse would not carry me any further, and my feet, and my strength was abated that such that I could not endure another night upon my feet. Man, he must have been tired. Yeah, he probably was. Thirteenth of, thirteenth of November, seventeen ninety-three. August, er, exhausted off. from the previous day's journey, I slept well until the sun was high in the sky. A venomous serpent awoke me with the rattling of his tail. Man, that would be scary, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a rattler just like wake you up. My terror of the snake was small compared to the amazement of the sentinels that I observed the pre previous night. I jumped to my feet and thus, thus providing the snake with a menacing sight of my musket that persuaded him to retreat. My eyes surveyed the horizon, seeing sentinels on all points of the compass. Suddenly there appeared to be movement behind several of the sentinels, as I called them at the time. It soon became evident that the movement was caused by natives of the area. So they were Indians that came around and they would scare people and run at you and try to kill you? Yeah, and I don't know what kind of Indians they were, but... They Must were have been either the Apache. No, they were only in the east, but go on. <laughs> They approached me with bows and arrows, one carrying a hatchet-like tool. That'd be scary, too. Yeah. <laughs> My only hope was to persuade them that, that I was not of the evil sort. I quickly reached into my pouch and drew some shiny beads carried just for the event. I also offered some crude toys that I received at a village outpost along with a sandwich of questionable taste. That would be kind of not the best thing, like something that McDonald's <laughs> aid give you. And yeah, you order a sandwich there and they give you... A toy with it ain't worth nothing. Your sandwich ain't worth nothing either. The natives quickly dropped their weapons and received my hospitality. The crude plastic toys they found to be their li to be their liking. Get, that's what you get at McDonald's. <laughs> a dumb and plastic toy. Did they really have plastic back then? It was probably just a simulated plastic. <laughs> like what McDonald's uses? Yeah. Not knowing the language, I gestured to the sentinels. By various signs and movements, I perceived they, I perceived they called the Suwaros, or more explicit description, the unknown plant. 
I determined at this point to report my findings to the president as soon as my waning strength was revived. What's waning strength? He just, his strength, he was just tired. Yeah, yeah. okay. By various mo movements and motions, I asked the natives, friendly as they are, if the arms of the sapporo become disengaged from the trunk and plunge to the ground at night. They were evidently amu amused at such a thought, and, and, and I gather that the arms do not dislodge at night. Antonio Gonzalo, your humble servant. Well, I guess I was mistaken that the arms fall off. That's just what I gathered from my teacher. Um, how fast does Sahuaros grow? Well, they grow about an average of six inches. Remember, this is an average. The growth depends on how much water they get. In a very dry year, they may only grow one or two inches, but in a wet year, they can grow ten inches. The average is six. And... Um. Well, um, can you give me like an example? Um, well, okay, like one year they may only grow one inch and the next it could be another dry year and grow two inches. And then the next year it might be really wet and they can grow eight inches. And the year after that they may only grow three inches. That is an average of six, right? Well, no. If you added 10, if you could, you know, like, it'd be, uh, let's see, 4.8. And without the 10, it'd be 3.7. Well, <laughs> I don't know what happens. If I can okay, like figure it one out. One year they can grow one inch, and the next year... If it's if it's really dry that one, that one year they grow six inches, the next year they could grow. Let's say if it's really warm they'd make up and they'd grow eleven inches. Okay, let me see. That's that's six. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you like, what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now I understand, who first discovered the Sahuaros? Coronado did in 1578. Didn't he was, discover the Grand Canyon too? Yeah, it was about the same time. About a year or two. Yeah, ago. for more information about the Grand Canyon, see Cactus Video on the Grand Canyon. Well, um, Cactus Videos are great, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're the best you can get. Yep. Well, let's go see the Sahuaros. In Tucson, I picked up a guy and, um, I, who showed us... S and M, short for Saguaro National Monument. I want to thank Dr. Ed Nelson for all his time and work put into giving us free trips down there, for free tours in um, State Park, and um, he provided transportation at all costs, at all no cost. <laughs> he is a strong supporter of Cactus Video Ministries. <laughs> which provides clean entertainment for the family. You can drink Mountain Dew while you're doing that. See, I drink Mountain Dew while I watch cactus videos. I'm comfortable going to the bias there. <laughs> well, what's... Cattle guard. So there have to be cattle. Unless the government took this place over. You can eat those. Preserved. Every once in a while, jelly I can see something like that in the grocery store. You want to get a picture? Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. <coughs> Here we come to them. Oh, how much is it? Oh, I've got it right here. No, let me. And, and I got to get out my saved money here too. <laughs> this is saved you got to get out. You get your money. Bill, hold it. We are closed. I'm sorry. Uh, we've had uh, some problems with the storm here. Power hit, or lightning hit uh, our transformer. Everything is closed. So. Oh. oh! And we go, wall is right. We I get know. a refund then. Well, <laughs> what do you? A refund for nothing? No. Wow. Well, well, yeah. okay. Freak of nature. This is one when of did the it happen? Days of the year, you know. So. When did it happen? At uh, this morning. Oh, I called out, but all you have is that that yes. uh, recorded <laughs> announcement. Anyway. Okay. Well, it will be open tomorrow. We'll be at 8.30 in the morning, bar any uh, Mother Nature tricks. How All can right. we check okay. for sure? I'm sorry. You've yes, got a coupon yes. right on your thing there. Yeah. Okay. How, do, uh, how do we find out, though? All I get is a recorded announcement. Uh, call 
call and see if you can happen to get a live person and we can let you know. How do you get they a live going, person? They were going to, he was going up there, you know, to try to get that recording shut off so uh -huh. that, you know, one of us speaks to you and let you know whether we're open or not. So try it in the morning. All right. I'll leave you a gospel track. Thank you. It isn't That's Mother Nature, it's the Lord that did it. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Bumps. Mother oh. Nature did it. It's on. Oh, it's recording. There Go ahead. There was an unprecedented storm in the area this morning, and it struck the tower, and they lost their power, and we could not go. We could not see Biosphere 2. Well, we're going to go to the desert museum, it seems as if. Do you know anything that's going to be in there? Oh, I'm about as ignorant as you are. <laughs> I've never been to this, and so we've been waiting for you to come. <laughs> so that we can all go out and see what it is. Everybody says, you must go. Monica, where you were yesterday, said, you must go to the Desert Museum. That is something to see. It probably will be closed when we get there right there. <laughs> Whatever the Biosphere yeah, 2. <laughs> what happened at the Biosphere 2? Uh, lady said they was closed down. So. Tucson Mountain Park. Weird tomorrow's though. Well, it surely could be because it's just look at them. They're just they grow up where the tomorrow's I'm told grow an inch a year. And I've understood that generally they don't grow that arm until they're a hundred years old, the first arm. They they have a folding exterior that when it rains that fills up and they puff way out. And then when it dries, they get these big, deep creases, and they but they can last for quite a while. Rock on. It's windy out there. Gonna miss the museum. It is. We were coming down. There are those cactus that jump at you. All of a sudden, it seems like you begin to see these cactus. Well, they are at certain elevations. You'll be driving along and then... It, you... Well, do you know how to pronounce the name for them cactus? They're called saguaro. S-A-G-U-A-R-O. Oh. The G-U sounds like a W. So. I always thought it was pronounced Guaro. But it's spelled differently at times, isn't it? Sometimes they, they spell the G with an H, and I don't know why that is. They have a high school named Sawara High School in Tucson, and they spell that S-A-H-A-U-R-A. -A -A. about them in the Desert Museum if we ever get there? Well, I don't know whether you can see it on the video, but there are thousands of them along this road. They look like a, a forest of, of trees. Oh, wait, here's a road. Is that an exit? Is it closed? This is the entrance. Yeah, it's closed. Oh my God. 8 30 to 5 after all that drive. We just got a late start, I guess, because just we as we got to the gate, it was time for them to close, so we <laughs> did not get to see the Desert Museum. So, where are we going now? We're going to the Saguaro National, Park. National Park. This is just part of it, I understand. There, there's one on each side of Tucson. That's the National Monument over there. See, look, some places have the, where the arms are already fall off. There's people going through this. Stay. <laughs> yes, it is. Where about how could we be got back to There's a picture of the Sahuaro cactus when I was down there. That must have been an awesome sight when Antonio Gonzalo 
woke up that next morning and saw those cactuses just standing there. What do you think? <laughs> well, I, he thought they were guards or sentinels. Yeah, I'd and... I'd be, like, kind of weird. I'd be, like, in shock to find out that I that they were uh, cactuses instead of guards. Yeah, me too. But, um, right here is where, um... This Ohio National Monument is. I don't think you can see it, but it's um, it's there. It's there. <laughs> I'll tell you that because I was just there a couple, four months ago, three months ago actually, starting from. <laughs> but and so, got anything else you want to say? Well, do you did you think it was fun down there? Or? Yeah, it was fun, and. Right before we got to the Socorro National Monument, we went to the Biosphere too. Did you ever get in there? No, well, we got in there the next day, but the first day we went in there, it was closed down because this dumb people lied to us and said it was lightning and yeah, struck I, in it. Yeah, I heard it, it was a, yeah. It was the, um, snowed on the ground and they didn't want anybody falling in the bills and stuff. But it was a lot of fun. We did get to go to it. Yeah, they said, I heard that you got a recording of something. Or yeah, we something got this like dumb and recording. And then, um, they said it was We will be open. open from 2 until 4. Well, like no, 2 until 5. So we get there around 4 and it was closed. And it took us now to get back to the um, Desert Museum, which we never got to see because it was closed down. But that's all for now from our, your Cactus Videos Studio 2B. We'll be right back. Well, that was a um, video of the Grand Canyon you saw just a second ago. Well, that's all for now. What? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you have a robbery when you were down there? Oh, yeah. I'll show you. We were uh, here in Phoenix at an Abco food parking lot. Grandma had gone in to get a hostess present for Monica. And, well, Monica, not Monica Sellis, but one of our relatives and uh she <laughs> um we were sitting out in the parking lot farther back so we could see when she came out and uh apparently i was reading my book called chasing the wind and um was the book very boring at all it was a lot of cool book because they get stuck on a ship but i'll bore you with that later but uh, this guy comes up he starts cussing out grandpa going you blankety boink boink boink, give me all your money, you blankety boink boink, give it to me now. And I didn't hear it, and Grandpa tapped me, and I look up, and I see this guy's hand sticking in the window like this, yelling, give me all your money and give it to me now. I jumped out, slammed the um, door on my foot to try to get attention. And, I, well, I meant to slam the door, but I wasn't out yet, and I slammed the door on my foot, <laughs> and I lost my shoe. I hurt my ankle while I was at, while I was at it, and <laughs> but we um they never caught the guy. I, he got away after a while because he knew he wasn't gonna get nothing out of my grandpa, and so it happened three no two times that day, and that's about it from Cactus Videos. Be sure to get your copy of the Grand Canyon and all those other videos we have, and. Um, hope you enjoyed the Sahuar trip. Bye for now.